when these people get these lawsuits settled, is that an admission of guilt by R. Kelly and his team? Or can you get some clarity on that? So, no, it's not going to be a, hey, yeah, I did it, so I'm settling. Uh, every settlement agreement I've ever read says this is done without any any admission of guilt or fault or anything else. And what it comes down to is the criminal side is different from the civil side, right? And the example that I'll use a lot is the OJ case, right? Remember, OJ was not convicted in the criminal case, but was found to be at fault uh, of the two killings in the civil case, right? right? So you make a business decision. You go, okay. Do I pay somebody and be done with the civil case, get them to sign a release and get them to say, hey, I'm not saying it's my fault. I'm just getting done with this because this is what's in my best interest. And a lot of times you'll have a confidentiality agreement in those as well that really says you can't talk about it. Right. But legally, he's not admitting that he's guilty of anything. He's making this is the part I want to make clear because, in you know, in barbershop talking, which is what I definitely am glad that you're here to help clear <laughs> up. Right. And barbershop talk is, well, you know, man, he settled the case. He got to be guilty. That ain't what it's saying. That is not what it's saying at all. And and there's actually a level of when I evaluate cases, when they come in our door, right. that I'll go, this case has enough pieces to it that are really bad for the other side that I'm not really too concerned. Although I am concerned, is there fault on the defendant, right? Or in this case, it would be R. Kelly, right? right? But only a little, little bit, right? And all I got to do is prove that maybe, just maybe he was a little bit at fault, because the allegations are so huge, they're so salacious, they're, they're something that you don't ever want to hit the streets, right? So sometimes that can come into the evaluation, but that doesn't mean that that person actually did it. Right. It just means that you can show just enough that you think that he did, and he goes, oh God, this could turn really bad for me. And it, you know, a lot of it, like I said before, business decision. Can I get out by paying 200000 versus paying $2 million? If a jury goes off the rails and they go $2 million... Well, I should have taken that two hundred thousand dollars because it's a heck of a lot less, right. right? So there's a lot of that aspect that comes into it that has really nothing to do with fault, and and it there's no point being bottom line. Answer your question directly. There is no fault associated with that whatsoever. That's not him saying, "Yeah, I did it, but I'm going to pay out." 